I'd say the most important message for the Global Ideas Forum is sustainability of healthcare systems. And the idea, well actually the proposition, that we can have all the healthcare that we want and need, we just have to organise it differently. How, how we're going to do that is we need to manage the information of healthcare way more efficiently than we do now. There, we, do, we manage healthcare on bits of paper at the moment, gen generally speaking, and it's not on IT systems. And that means that systems, the, the way that we manage information is really inefficient in healthcare. We can do a lot better if we incorporate the use of technology and innovation in healthcare to, to manage the information of healthcare that is so critical. How is the failure of the healthcare system like a plane crash? It's a lot worse than that, I'm sorry. It's like a lot of plane crashes. So if a massive plane falls out of the sky today, about 400 people, assuming it's full, will die. In healthcare, we, just in Australia alone, we have multiple crashes of planes. We're talking about 14,000 people every year in the Australian healthcare system die unnecessarily due to failures of the healthcare system, due to what's called adverse events. The adverse events are by and large not the failure of any individual clinicians doing their job properly. It's um, the inability of the system to give them the tools to do their job properly. And if you can't access the information that you need in an appropriately timely manner to make the decisions that you need to make about your patient's critical care, then bad things can happen. Innovation has become a bit of a buzzword right now. I think everybody since Malcolm Turnbull became Prime Minister is playing innovation, now, you know, drinking games bingo. Uh, so innovation, disruption, agility, uh, yeah, you can take a drink on that one. <laughs> but there is there's a huge opportunity to innovate in healthcare. So there is a lot of opportunities where we can actually look at better ways of managing the information to get it into the hands of clinicians and most importantly, into the hands of patients, of consumers, and let them be part of the process as well. The important thing when we're innovating in technology and healthcare is to make sure that we're not creating more problems. So we want to make sure that the next generation of technology is built on strong health informatics foundations that will make sure that the systems that are being built to be used will actually make it easier for clinicians to do their job well and actually improve patient outcomes. The prerequisites for innovation and, and to be able to innovate in healthcare, I think actually are a little different that you might find in other industries. And that is because the healthcare system operates incredibly differently to most other systems. And so you can bring the best ideas that you can think of into the healthcare system, but they may not get adopted, why not? So that important building block that's needed for innovation isn't just the great ideas, it's actually understanding how the system works. And the other thing that I would say in terms of how to encourage innovation in healthcare is what's really importantly is instead of look, building a solution looking for a problem, what you need to do is find out what the problems are and build the appropriate solutions to fix them. Global Ideas Forum, it's such a pleasure to be part of this event today and this ongoing community. The role that the Global Ideas Forum community can take in the innovation of healthcare is by bringing multidisciplinary forces to join forces together and to really make a change in healthcare. We all have something unique that we can bring to the table and really together we can make things happen.